Hi all, I have a fascinating game of Alf Anderson, who was one of the best players in the world at the time, along with Paul Morphy. This was played in 1860 against Bartold Sully. E4 from Anderson. We go into the B4 gambit known as the Evans gambit. So White is constructing a centre quite quickly. And we have E takes, C takes. You'll note also that without the B pawn, this bishop can either go here or here sometimes with effect on these two diagonals. We have D5. And now actually the bishop immediately goes there, pressing to win a rook. No time for black to take on C4. If he does so, then we win that rook. So black parries that with knight F6. We have the bishop coming back to parry knight takes. Bishop g4, we have an unpleasant pin it seems. Knight c3, c6, trying to undermine white's pawn centre. Knight e2, now black castles. Queen d2, rook c8, and now white goes on the offensive with queen g5. The threat here, if white adds another move, he will pl play bishop takes and queen takes. So black uses this opportunity though to parry that threat and double the pawns but is there a downside here isn't there a g file here we have c takes and the king moves with the potential threat now of rook g1 to threaten mate now this is an opportunity for black in this particular position where maybe this threat should be handled immediately in advance with great urgency with the move 98 which would defend g7 and hit the queen and for example if queen g3 knight c4 hitting the bishop and then if that's not taken then you know say bishop c3 then knight e5 and it's a lot of hassle this diagonal's blocked and black's doing some stuff hitting both bishops what is white doing here this this position is is better uh, for black can take off this and remains fairly safe however a big however in the game at this critical juncture knight c4 was played now we have rook g1 threatening mate now knight e8 which seems to be the same sort of idea attack the queen there's no time for anything on the G file, surely the Queen attacked. But in fact, there is. Can you see what White played in this position? If I give you five seconds to pause the video, can you see the full continuation? So the next move I'll give you 100 points, and if you can see the full continuation, 500 points. So you might want to pause the video for a bit. I'll give you five seconds to pause the video starting from now. Okay, white play. He didn't retreat his queen. No, 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 no. Queen takes g7 check. Forcing basically knight takes. We have rook takes g7 check. King h8 and maybe black fall. There's no problem here because after all, he's hitting the bishop, right? What would you play in this position if I give you five seconds to pause the video? Can you work it out from here? Okay, not something like, well, any any rook move like this or this, we've got potentially knight takes a uh, bishop, right? That's the snag, so how do we deal with that? There's actually a move which is really cool here. And it's a double check. So forcing, compelling the black king to move quite often there's double checks too and to take that but now rook g1 yeah it's checkmate pattern queen g5 is the only legal move rook takes g5 checkmate <laughs> quite a nice use of the g file tactically but it seems as though black actually fundamentally had a good position he really had to address this critical tactical threat immediately maybe that's a lesson for us defensively from the defensive side someone with the g file 
treat it as a matter of great urgency if they have threats to try and extinguish them in advance before some sort of horrible sacrifice occurs and it's all running with tempo with deadly effect here okay comments questions like shares appreciated thanks very much